for one as Penn State has three more finalists. And here's another one. Nick Lee, 12 and one, the number two seed against Jaden Ironman of Iowa, formerly of Mizzou. Going to that wrestling room there in Iowa City, making the top team even stronger. And two four-time All-Americans here at 141. Everybody waiting for this clash since the Big Ten Finals. These two have emerged as one of the great rivalries, storylines of the year. They just pull a straight on double leg, but you know, I'm looking to see what the adjustments that both these guys have made since the Big Ten Championships. There was an opening takedown there by Lee, and then a quick answer by the escape, and a takedown and a ride out there for Ironman in the Big Tens, and that really kind of made the difference. Ironman's ability to ride on the top. I'm wondering if Lee has made the adjustments. I'm sure he's gone back to that Penn State wrestling room and worked on finishing. We call Ironman the Riddler, and a style that's difficult to answer. Hard to prepare for. You just don't know where he's going. Thanks to the last job for, for uh, lead there, getting to that back ankle. That Big Ten championship won by Ironman, 6-5 the final score. Out. As they yep. Yep. pirouette out of bounds on the edge. Here we go. Minute 53 left in the first. Ironman, three-time All-American at Missouri, has been so close so many times before. He's finished third, fourth, and fifth in the national championship. Went into the transfer portal, was there for a day, and decided to go to Iowa City. An opportunity here for Ironman to be able to, uh, actually, Lee actually score. And I like the adjustment that Ironman has made here. He's hitting some straight on doubles. He just wants to create action. And those counter shots, he's expecting to go ahead and go defense. He cuts the corner better than anybody in the country. All of Likes to the guys guys up and pin him from there. Literally begs you to shoot on his leg. He's comfortable shooting and getting shot on, like you said, to shoot the corner, to turn the corner there. But he's um, he's aggressive, Ironman, both in offense and defense. And the, the adjustment that Lee has had to make in that Penn State wrestling room is to go ahead and take a little shorter shot, get to the leg a little quicker, just maybe snatch it a little bit better and come back and do your finish. And then we saw that he actually tried to get to the back leg, which I haven't seen many people do to Ironman. One minute. All these little strategy and these adjustments that these guys make, high-level wrestlers, you know, already four-time All-Americans. Lee has been close as well before. Two fifth-place finishes at the NCAA Championships. And a true freshman. Now in this match, you see Iron is just a little bit more aggressive on his feet. He's not waiting. He wants to break those scrambles. Straight on double leg right there. Three hit by Lee. Coming back. Look at that left leg of uh, Ironman. Is he able to keep it on the mat? Tried to finish on the edge there. I don't think he's going to run out of room. So good attack. We've already seen more aggressive Ironman. Both wrestlers coming close to takedowns, running out of real estate at the edge. Here we go. On the line. Set. Hey, you finish that. You finish that. So Lee thwarting the attempt from Ironman to freight train right through him. Number one and number two here at 141 pounds. Ironman, one of three finalists for Iowa which finishes a top the team race this year for the first time Bring since 2010. Tom Brands took like over it. just a few years into down. the new millennium. And they get going. his fourth team title with him at the helm. Here we go. Get set, it is a special room there, set. guys, Green. who Green. love the sport. Tom Brands in his 15th Green. season. Green. As the head coach there, he's also been the Olympic freestyle coach. Green cover. Olympic gold medalist. It's really important that uh, Lee, and from the top position, get a little bit of time, but uh, quick escape by Ironman. I think he's got to be pretty happy, Lee, with that first period because Off the fingers, guys. Worked him through. in the Big Ten Championships, he's down by one and gave up a lot of riding time at the, uh, the end of the first period. You think about wrestling history, it's always been defined by coach-driven dynasties. I always got that with Coach Brands, but they also have Spencer Lee in their locker room. It's a team culture that has taken over. Player-driven leadership. 
mat finish situation here, single leg finish situation at the edge of the mat. That's where Ironman is so good, he can jump over, put his boot in. Nice defense by Nick Lee. Some really solid wrestling happening here at the edge of the mat, guys. Good defense. And the adjustments made by Ironman, he's been much more aggressive on the feet. Great pace by both wrestlers. They've both been relentless. The relentless is, is hard to beat, and uh, they're both uh, sharing a, a great pace in this entire match. Yeah, I, Tim, I think that, that Lee's picking his spots. He hasn't been able to get to his shots, and that's a little bit different from uh, the uh, Big Ten finals when they first met. So Ironman is doing something with uh, his head, hands, defense to clear Lee out so he doesn't feel comfortable shooting. There has been an equal and opposite reaction between Ironman and Lee with 20 seconds left in the second and the only point awarded thus far the escape to Ironman at the beginning of this period. Three, two, one. Jaden Ironman trying to be Iowa's first champion at 141 pounds since Cliff Moore back in 2004, a standout career. Perfect record in high school in the state of Missouri. His home in Columbia just a couple hours away, and he grew up idolizing Iowa wrestling. They won three straight titles, 08 to 10, when he was in middle school, and now here he is. So here's the strategy guy. He's going to have to choose the rich choice, the rich position, was able to get him a takedown there and finish it. Let's see, he's pretty tough in the top position Very himself. Tough. Yes, he is. He can wear a guy out on top. Chose neutral, didn't want to go underneath Ironman. Comes right in. And instead of going for the escape, looks like Ironman is looking for a reversal. He can play around with that too long and give up a little bit too much driving time, but he gets the escape. And they're even at two. It's going to be a fun minute and 12 seconds, guys. These guys both on the attack. Ironman was on the attack early. He's slow to get back to the center. Shape never an issue for Nick Lee. Hasn't been. He's all, he makes very few mistakes. One minute. Straight on double. Second time Ironman's gone for that, and Lee has been ready. They're locked up. His Ironman's finger got stuck in right? Lee's headgear. You okay? Okay, here we go on the line, gentlemen. Ironman will slow to get back to center again. And he used a lot of energy in the first period with those straight on double leg shots to create scrambles. The thing about Ironman is that he likes to have that. See that right hand over the top of that tricep? He uses that for his little slide-by technique, but Lee is posted. There's a warning on Ironman. Lee trying to pull him back into the uh, wrestling area, and they go off, foot off the mat. They'll go back to the center. Kyle giving him a hard time like that. Again, having a hard time getting back to the center quickly. Lee hustling back. Lee has looked the part of the aggressor. Short time here at third period. Straight on double, though. Single leg. Now Lee comes back. Excellent finisher here. A little more room to work with. Lee with five seconds. Can he put it away? And time expires on regulation. Our first two are headed to extra time. Second one for the Nittany Lion comes right back to the center. There's a lot of energy left for Nick Lee. That's Joe Lee, his brother, 165 pounder on the same team, Evansville, Indiana natives. Well, Tim Lee has the river cornered here a little bit, but you know, you, you can't be too aggressive and shoot too deep on him because he has the ability to change that corner and make you silly, but he drives in. Inside trip by Lee, he gets it. And Lee gets the two. Really settled into that again, just like RBY. The anticipation won it there for Nick Lee. Just the thought process, the strategy, yes. going hard late in that match.
perfect start for Penn State. Two for two. Elbow post there. Over and under, but the drives through because he caught under the knee and drove through the hips. Nick Lee did for that takedown. Jim, good look at this inside trip here. He was able to post on him and then comes back, caught the Riddler trying to push him off the mat right there, Jaden Ironman. And you could sense things with excitement here by the Penn State crew. Quinch with Nick. Coaching staff just taking a look at Nick. Nick, congratulations, first Thank of you. all. It looked like you wore him down. It lo looked like you had the gas. W what, what did you sense out there? Um, I was tired, <laughs> but uh, that's just the nature of wrestling. You get tired, and um, at the end of the day, you just gotta keep fighting. What's this mean for you? Uh, well, it means I won this year, but we'll go on to the next year and see what happens. That's it, that's all we get? You're, you're moving on already? Monday, or Sunday, chop with carry water. Congratulations, enjoy it. Thank you. Champions execute when they're tired, Mike. Well, we've heard it from Nick Saban after winning championships. He's out recruiting the next day for Penn State. As we heard a couple of years ago, this is just what they do. RBY got it started, and Nick Lee, after a couple of fifth-place finishes,